Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ria and you're welcome to Ria's Empire. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. So if this is your first time of stopping by, you're highly welcome. A returning subscriber, you're highly welcome. And if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that now by hitting the red subscription button below. It's totally free. So guys, um, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the simplest ways to grow your hair. Yes, the simplest ways to grow your hair. You literally do not need all those extravagant products, um, applying this, applying that. Look, you can apply all the products in the world. You can apply all the moisturizers in the world, all the hair oil in the world. But your hair will still be stunted. It will still grow. It, it won't still grow, sorry. So there are some basic things you need to know in order for your hair to grow. Yes. Products, they might be um, contributing to the factors that helps in growing your hair, but they are not the main thing. Yes, so stick around so that you will understand what I meant by that. So basically, yeah, usually um, moisturizing your hair, applying hair oil, hair products, they are all good. But the basic things you need to know in order for your hair to grow, I literally found out all those things during the process of my hair growth and I really wasn't really paying attention to those things until I noticed that okay um I think this is what is actually growing my hair a whole lot then I started putting more effort to it and guys I will not lie to you my hair has drastically grown a whole lot now number one thing you should know is that growing your hair you have to be very careful when you are losing your hair yes at times so many people for example now this braid i'm carrying probably i will lose everything at once i will not comb it at all as you lose you comb for example if you lose one of these you are expected to comb it immediately not waiting for you to lose all your hair like when you're done losing everything you start combing no you have to lose one braid as you lose you comb and as you comb make sure you are very very careful as you comb and comb from the tresses then it gets to the roots because of tangling yes if you start from the um your scalp then it's, it might tangle but as you if you start from the um tresses it's going to help in detangling it and preventing breakage now number two is stick to one hairstylist <laughs> Guys, stick to one hairstylist. This is a very important factor. Like, it is a very, very important factor. Your hair tends to get used to one particular hand. Or even if you don't have a particular hairstylist, you can get like two. That if this one is not available, at least this one is going to be available. Do not be changing hairstyle from one person to another. People's hand, hair, some hairstylist's hand do cut hair. Like, some hairstylists, people that make your hair sometimes their hands can actually be the barrier to your hair growth so you have to stick to one hairstylist and making sure that it is that particular hairstylist you keep going to all over and all over again and in some way your hair is going to adjust to that person and it will reduce the way um the breakage happens remember you can either get one hairstylist or two in case one is not around or maybe maybe the person made a travel you can go to the second person people's hand do cut hair now number three is that carrying your protective styles for a long time this helps your hair like it prevents the way your hair breaks yes and introduces the, the way you like you manipulate your hair a lot you can carry this um, hair I'm carrying right now. It's an example of a protective styling. Yes, not just it is a protective styling, but it also helps your um, edges to also grow. So carrying a protective style for like two months or highest a month is really advisable. As you carry it for a month, make sure that um, you um, take good care of your hair like moisturizing your hair um making sure that it's not dry always moisturize your hair even if it's in a protective style it should not be dry it should always be moisturized either with hair oil or 
um, a leave-in conditioner yes so number four is that make sure you always sleep with a hair bonnet hair bonnet silk hair bonnet because if you do not sleep in a hair bonnet it's going to you're going to have be having friction on the bed or anywhere you lay your head and you'll be seeing those tiny tiny hairs they are going to be breaking a whole lot they are going to be breaking a whole whole lot and another secret that people do not know so much is that at times you need to wash your hair braided yes wash that hair braided you must not loosen your hair before you start washing it you can wash your hair braided yes like for example me if i want to reduce the number of breakage on my hair or the way my hair breaks i wash my hair this way and it still comes out clean it still comes out clean then probably when um i'll just say okay let me just loosen everything once in a while i'll just loosen all my hair and just wash everything all together then another time i start washing my hair again braided you must not loosen your hair like finish and start um washing it you can actually wash your hair braided it's if if you know that you don't really have that time to be detangling it little by little little by little then you can actually wash your hair braided you just wash it um moisturize it and you're off to go so basically all these little little things do matters and the last is you trimming your hair trimming the dead ends of your hair helps your hair to grow longer yes because if you do not trim it it's going to pull out even the good ones as well so make sure you trim your hair trimming your hair doesn't mean you're necessarily cutting everything up you can actually trim your hair by yourself probably you can make um braids like this the one i'm carrying then if you see a split end you get your scissors and start trimming them off yourself yes you don't necessarily have to go to hair um hair hair salon for you to trim your hair you can just get a, a scissors if you see any split ends you trim them off um split ends yeah mine is already due for for trimming for example this um split ends yeah you trim them off with scissors and you are good to go so you basically do not need all those extravagant extravagant products little little things do matter do you understand so yeah if you stick to this routine then trust me your hair is going to grow a whole whole lot at times people look at me and they're like ah, Ria, what are you using your hair are you using products and i'm like products girl my shampoo and my my conditioner the both of them are just three thousand five hundred yes Mm -hmm. my hair oil is even ori ori i don't know um shea butter yes it's shea butter i don't really use all this big big big, big hair oil it's just all these little, little things that you do that matters do you understand so try these um steps out and you're going to see a whole lot of progress on your hair okay so guys we've come to the end of my video if you found this video really helpful please do well to like subscribe and share um thank you guys for watching to the end i love you guys so much bye bye and god bless Mwah.